Hi everyone, today we have the FPT MEF 400 diesel marine engine to show you around. We've got this one set up here and ready to run. This is a 2021 model that's just been sold. We've just bolted on a customer's existing gearbox on the back and uh, we're ready to give it a run. So let me show you through it and uh, show you the features and the advantages of the FPT MEF 400 diesel marine engine. FPT, standing for Fiat Powertrain Technology, are an Italian built engine. This particular diesel marine engine here is a 5.9 litre displacement, uh, inline six cylinder and common rail fuel injection. This engine here, an A1 rating, which is the pleasure duty rating, produces 400 horsepower at 3000 RPM. We can derate the engine down for commercial applications down to 370 horsepower, 330 horsepower, or 270 horsepower, just depending on the number of hours per year that the vessel is required to operate. So, as I approach the engine here on this side, you can see we have the fuel system. Uh, they are a common rail fuel injection system, and these are a very nice and compact system. So, here we have both the low and the high pressure fuel pumps with the fuel line incoming, which is this line just here. From there, it travels through our fuel filter uh, here. Now, I will say there is also a primary fuel filter connected further back on the vessel, which isn't included in this video, but does come standard with every engine. Uh, from the filter, it runs back into the high pressure pump. From the high pressure pump, there's a line that comes up here, up and into the common rail. The common rail, we have Bosch electronics on this particular engine. Uh, and here we have a sensor for detecting rail pressure and there is also a relief valve tucked in just under here uh, for when there is too much rail pressure and it returns back down and recirculates back through the diesel return line. You can see here we have six individual injection lines going into the, the, uh, the rocker box including three harnesses as these are Bosch electronic injectors underneath the rocker cover. And that is the extent of the fuel system. They are very simple, and I'm gonna move you on to the cooling system next, which, as you can see, is a really compact design. There are other 5.9 litre and 6.7 litre engines available on the market, which are very similar, but take special note as just to how compact these engines are for a 5.9 or even the 6.7 litre, uh, which is very similar to this called the NEF 450. You can't really tell them apart in terms of physical size and weight. Back to the cooling system. Here we have our seawater inlet. From there, you can see how short the run is directly across and into the water to air intercooler. So our air side of things comes from a single whole set turbocharger, runs up and through this boost pipe here, through the intercooler and then straight up and over into the intake manifold into the engine. So it's about as short as run as you could possibly have for boost air. From the cooling side, the tube stack runs up and back, and then it carries on around this side here. It travels up and through our gearbox oil cooler. So whilst we're at the rear here, the gearbox oil cooler comes standard with FPT engines, and we make that fit. So this is an old twin disc MG507 gearbox in a two to one ratio very common and very good gearbox and the reason that we've decided to keep it is because it is still in very good condition this particular gearbox we sent out for inspection and testing to make sure that everything was okay and then we've descaled it and put it on this engine uh, ready to go and to be reused in the vessel which just saves the owner quite a bit of money with the mg507 you can see it's almost a coaxial or is a coaxial gearbox so the center line of the crankshaft is about here and the center line of the output shaft is pretty well bang in line. So a great asset to keep this engine nice and low in the vessel. And you can see that in regards to how shallow the sump actually is on this particular motor. This NEF 400 has 12 volt electrics and they are standard. Uh, however, you can opt for uh, 24 volt electrics as another option. Going back to the cooling circuit from the gearbox oil cooler, it comes around into the heat exchanger, which is the closed cooling circuit uh, with the coolant in it and the seawater. And the seawater then comes back out up into your wet exhaust riser and exits out the back of the boat. So that is really the main components and systems around the engine. Uh, you can see we have a few electrical components which fit in the engine room. We have the ECU, 
We have the CAN bus converter, which converts the signal to a digital signal up for the control panel. And we also have what's called a relay box, which allows us to stop and start the engine from within the engine room, uh, and also start, stop, and rev the engine up. This is also our diagnostics port. Uh, from there, we'll come across. This is the deluxe digital control panel that comes with the engine. Uh, you can see we have a key. We also have a emergency stop button and we have a buzzer uh, for any alarms that do come up. The digital panel here, this is the main screen, page one of two. So you can see we have engine hours. We have the TACO. This engine, as we said, revs up to 3000 RPM. It shows the cooling water temperature, engine oil pressure, and the fuel rate burn in liters per hour. As I flick to page two, you can see that we have, again, the RPM, we have engine oil temperature, torque as a percentage, uh, the turbo boost in bar, and battery voltage. It also will bring up any faults that are showing, uh, we'll list here at any point in time. And then we can acknowledge any faults and close it. So, without further ado, let's give the girl a run. Righto, let's give the FPT NEF400 a run and see how it goes. All we have to do is just come to the digital screen. The keys are two stage, so one click to activate it. You'll hear the buzzer will sound. The panel will go into its uh, startup procedure, which just brings up the FPT logo. And once you see this screen, we're ready to crank. So it's just turn to a momentary on. And straight away, we're up and running, sitting at 600 RPM. Our coolant's at 18 degrees. Our oil pressure's at 4.5. We're showing zero because we are still idle with no load. Again, engine speed, engine oil temperature, torque, turbo pressure, and battery voltage. And our alarms are okay. And that everyone is the Fiat powertrain technology NET 400 diesel marine engine. Being such a compact and lightweight 5.9 litre diesel engine, they're amazing for both pleasure applications and commercial applications. Uh, we use a lot of these for both shaft and jet driven applications, for flybridge cruisers all the way through to small to medium uh, fast painting to even medium displacement hulls. Thanks very much for watching. Please give us a call if you think this engine might be the one for you.